Hello and welcome to another Electric World video featuring the latest news about EV World. This time, we would be discussing hot updates on the Apple Car, Tesla Cybertruck, and Tesla stock. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. It helps you get notified when we post more content just like this. In an interview with the New York Times, Apple CEO Tim Cook pointed at the company's plans on developing an autonomous vehicle. Tim Cook didn't make any commitments or confirm the much anticipated Apple Car's existence. But he continued to beat around the bush, which gave a hint of what was to come. Cook said in an interview with Kara Swisher on the Sway podcast on Monday, The autonomy itself is a core technology in my view, Tim said. If you sort of step back, the car in a lot of ways is a robot. An autonomous car is a robot, and so there are lots of things you can do with autonomy. And we'll see what Apple does. We already assumed that the Apple car will be an autonomous or semi-autonomous vehicle, but it's still good to hear Cook announce it. Unfortunately, as he speaks about how you can do a lot of things for autonomy, it muddies things back up again. The company is yet to announce whether the Apple car would be a passenger sedan, a delivery truck, a robo-taxi, or shuttle service, or anything completely new. Cook also said, we investigate so many things internally, many of them never see the light of day. I'm not saying that one will not. And Cook declined to comment when asked whether Apple was working on a new vehicle or the technologies inside the car. The majority have expected Apple to enter the auto industry, either with its own vehicle or delivering its technology to other car makers, and has made a series of steps suggesting that it intends to do so. In 2019, the company acquired the autonomous vehicle business Drive.ai to further bolster its tech ranks. A self-driving vehicle could put the company against Tesla, which is developing its own self-driving features. In 2018, Apple rehired Doug Field, then Tesla's senior vice president of engineering, to focus on self-driving vehicles. Apple has also hired some former Tesla employees including Michael Suikach, former Tesla Vice President of Engineering and now Senior Director of Engineering for Apple's Special Projects Group. The techno king Elon Musk also revealed the last year that he once tried to start talks with Apple about selling the company, but Cook refused to meet with him. In response, Tim Cook told Swisher, You know, I've never spoken to Elon, although I have great admiration and respect for the company he's built. I think Tesla has done an unbelievable job of not only establishing the lead, but keeping the lead for such a long period of time in the EV space. So I have a great appreciation for them. According to the recent CNBC report, Apple was close to finalizing a contract with Hyundai Kia to produce an Apple branded autonomous vehicle at the Kia assembly plant in West Point, Georgia. However, the automakers later walked back on the claims. Let's continue our video with a very hot topic, Cyberlander. Announced in 2019, the Cybertruck has been immensely popular among the public. Several people are waiting desperately to get updates about its release and final production. Just days after its release, 200,000 people registered for one of the trucks, and the number is only increasing. What makes the truck even more special is its price. You can buy a Cybertruck for as low as $39,999. However, the Tesla Cybertruck isn't expected to go into mass production until 2022. And we have our first Cybertruck camper conversion, the Cyberlander, on the market already. The Cyberlander, like its EV pickup host truck, comes with all manner of 21st century amenities and modern design details. Cyberlander uses the pop-up concept. When collapsed, it fits the shape of the Cybertruck. The unit then expands to four times its travel height and outward into the open tailgate of the vehicle, forming two small rooms, the main living, eating, sleeping room, and a tiny bathroom. The kitchen with an under-counter fridge, a sink, and an induction cooktop embedded in the countertop is located in the living zone. 
touchless and or voice activated faucets are available. Many of the equipment are naturally electric and the porcelain tile floor is heated by electricity. A 32 inch flat screen TV installs on the wall and half the joy of being out in nature is watching TV when you get there. And better, it doubles as a monitor for all you gig economy workers who never get a break. Wireless access is provided by a Starlink satellite and 500 watt solar roof panels hold the Cyberlander charged. The phone booth sized cyber bathroom is outfitted with cutting edge technology. A self cleaning dry flush toilet is available, which reduces the need for a black water tank. A four stage water filtration system also provides for a recirculating shower. In our next videos, we will focus more on this topic, Cyberlander, so keep on following us. Another big news is that Biden's electric vehicle ambitions may send Tesla stock skyrocketing to $1,300. Tesla shares, TSLA, are growing on Monday after much better than anticipated first quarter delivery numbers. But the real upside to shares in the medium term will come from the Biden administration's trying to bring people into electric vehicles. According to Wedbush tech analyst Dan Ives, who raised his ranking to outperform with a $1,000 price target on Monday, Ives' bull case price target is $1,300, reflecting optimism on Biden's electric vehicle ambitions. The electric vehicle tax credit is now $7,500. However, it is phased out after a manufacturer produces 200,000 battery powered cars. Tesla and General Motors have also overtaken the threshold. To Ives' point, the Biden administration recently unveiled plans to invest approximately $200 billion in the EV industry over the next eight years. The administration is said to be considering expanding the tax credit for customers, which could be a significant boost to Tesla and its competitors' revenues. The administration has also pledged help for the building of 500,000 charging stations and the expansion of the battery production supply chain. Tesla has the wind in its sails even without the support of the Biden camp. Tesla announced 184,000 deliveries in the first quarter on Monday. Wall Street predicted 172,230. Both Model Y and Model 3 were found to be solid. Ford and General Motors had to stop the production of pickups due to the semiconductor shortage. As a result, it made Tesla's performance even more impressive. To be sure Tesla's high-tech vehicles use their fair share of chips, says Ives. Although there has been a painful sell-off for Tesla, I think this is just the start of a massive rally of 30% to 40%. Another big news is that Tesla has surpassed Fiat and Renault and conquered the best-selling electric vehicle title in Italy in the Italy EV market. March was very successful for Tesla, and its Model 3 conquered the best-selling electric car title over other rivals in Italy. 1,363 Model 3s have been bought in Italy in the first month. As a result, the Tesla Model 3 surpassed the Fiat 500 and the Sensible 42. According to the sales report, 1,056 units of Fiat 500 and 759 units of Sensible 42 were bought. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla's next projects and Elon Musk, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. And don't forget to give a thumbs up on this video if you liked it and subscribe to our Electric World channel for daily content just like this.